December 21. How to judge advice. Esther chapter 5 verse 14. Then his wife Zeresh and all his friends said to him, Let a gallows be made 50 cubits high, and in the morning suggest to the king that Mordecai be hanged on it. Then go merrily with the king to the banquet. And the king pleased Haman, so he had the gallows made. America's first official advice giver was a woman whose pen name was Dorothy Dix. Her first column appeared July 11, 1896 in the New Orleans Picayune. The column ran for 55 years. By the time of her death in 1951, her column was carried by nearly 300 papers. She was popularly known as the mother confessor to millions. Miss Dix has been followed by a horde of others. We have Miss Manners, Dr. Joyce Brothers, dear Abby, her twin sister, Anne Landers, and many more. In fact, most people relish the opportunity to give advice either officially or unofficially. The challenge on our part is to know whether the advice is good or bad. Like you and me, Haman also had his advice givers. His wife Zeresh and his friends in the city of Sushan were more than happy to play to Haman's pride and prejudices. But the advice they gave ultimately led to his destruction. As Christians, our best advisor is the word of God. God never sugarcoats his commandments to spare our feelings. We can always trust him to tell us what is right, even if we don't want to hear it. Wisdom dictates that we turn to others for counsel. The Bible says, listen to counsel and receive instruction that you may be wise in your later days. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 20. It also warns, there are many plans in a man's heart, nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. There are many places and many people from whom you can get advice, but make sure the advice you're being given is consistent with God's counsel. Free advice is sometimes the most costly kind. Amen.